Okay, I think we are live and you're ready to go. We are live and ready. Thank you, Marty. Thank you. Thank Welcome. You, thank you. Have a great meeting, everybody. Thank Appreciate you for, you, Marty. for the Public Art Committee. Hey, Marty. Sorry. It yes. says I don't have um, screen share capabilities. That's because uh, I need to transfer this hosting function right back at you. Thank you. There you are. You good? I think so. Okay. You've got it. Got, got it, Paisley? We're yep. good to go? Thank you. Um, All right. Every, Thanks, everybody. All right. Ah. All right, everyone. Thanks again for your patience and dealing with our technolo technological minor difficulties. Um, I would like um, the public to know that one can participate in our meeting by dialing 253-215-8782-213-338-8477-267-831-0333. And we also have four toll-free numbers, 833-548-0282, 877-8787, Eight 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 four seven five four four nine nine and eight three three five four eight zero two seven six with an webinar ID eight six nine two four eight nine nine eight five nine passcode five seven four zero six nine. So we welcome, of course, any and all of the public to participate. Um, we will right now start with public comment and we have Greg Martin with us. Um, Greg, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. And, cool. And would you like to make some public comment? <laughs> um, well, uh, yeah, I suppose I, I don't have much to, to add um, to, I think I was in, I don't know, was it last meeting or the meeting before? The very, Two meetings ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, just, uh, basically, you know, we, uh, I've been researching the history of, uh, St. Paul African Methodist Episcopal Church, which was, um, a black church that was next door to my house on Phillips street that was active for three decades, about three decades. Um, and, uh, the history has, of this church has really been forgotten, um, sadly, and trying to um, change that um, and get get uh, get it back in visibility and in our historical memory. So um, one of the, we've got two things that we're trying to do. Um, one thing is to get a plaque um, created and put in front of the, on the boulevard in front of the house. It's next door to my house. Um, but the other thing is that involves public arts commission uh, is, a, is creating a mural. Um, which I think is a great idea. Um, but I don't know if we're that far along and still, we're still talking about it a lot, but we haven't gotten too far um, down the road. I know that I, I the, the biggest change is that I've, I think I've got funding for this, like you know, about 20,000. So um, obviously it'd be great if we could get, get additional funding just if we needed it, but uh, that's the main thing that's changed. Um, still uh, trying to find a location. Um, I've reached out to a few places and haven't got responses yet. So we're still uh, we're still looking. Um, and it's a, a con conversation that I'm having with some of the people, in city leaders, and and with a group of concerned people as well who uh, are trying to to work on this. Um, you know, as far as like. Uh, selection of the artist and the artist goes and the uh, artwork itself um, that's not something that I want to be like uh, leading <laughs> um, mm -hmm. that's something that you know the the black community here um, should have you know full say in how that goes about um, I just want to you know advocate for it and do what I can to to get the the wheels rolling logistically for what we can do to get this created so um, that's about, you know, where we're at and what I can I, I can update you on. So, Craig, who all has been involved from our Black community? I mean, have you? Yeah. Um, are you, so, do you have, you have a working group together at this point? Right? Uh, yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, Jamar Galbraith is, is kind of taking the lead on, on that. Um, but he, uh, we were in a meeting with, I'm going to, I just met, <laughs> 
one or two of these people, so I'm going to forget mm -hmm. their names. That's okay. Uh, uh, one of them is Murray Pierce was meeting. Um, there were two other gentlemen there that, that are involved as well. I just can't give you the names off the top of my head. Um, but yeah, we're, you know, we also need to reach out more to get uh, to get more involvement there. And I think Jamar is working on that. Um, and, and everybody on the committee helped me out on this one too, but um, it is my recollection that we had decided um, that it would be worth pursuing and worth keeping the conversations going with Greg on how the Public Art Committee can be involved and help them um, with our, I wanna say kind of our typical guid guidance um, as far as helping with art call selections and you know working with it, not that we need to take control, but in, in collaboration and, and in Absolutely. partnership. Um, am I silenced? No, I'm not. Um, and Danny, at one point you said you'd be interested in um, perhaps being a liaison. Are you still, are you still, that was a thumbs up. <laughs> um, you know, as a historian too, I think that it's, it's exciting, um, exciting to learn and also exciting to see that folks would like to do a commemorative piece. Um, so I'm thinking, um, and again, I'm thinking it might, would be good um, to perhaps add this as an agenda item. Um, and that way, Danny, if you could keep in touch with Greg um, and when, when it comes to more fruition and we can make some more definitive decisions, um, then the committee can really decide how much and how, where we can be of help along with where you all think we can be of the most help. Does that sound good? Danny, are you okay with that? Yeah, that, that all sounds good. Um, I actually um, had been meaning to um, meet with you all. I think um, you met with Miha um, as well um, with Jamar and um, I was gonna go, but something came up, but yeah. If you yes, wanted, I did, sorry, I forgot to mention you. Yeah, if you wanna just keep me in the loop, you know, next time you meet with um, Jamar and um, Mr. Pierce. Um, yeah. And of course, Greg, you're always welcome to come to meetings as well. Okay. Um, Thanks. The, you know, it, it, it could be an exciting project. Yeah, I so. actually have a quick question. Have you reached out to the Montana Racial Equity Project um, at all? Yeah. yeah, actually, I, you know, when I knew that I could could get funding for it. I did send an email out and I talked and you know I was asking about you know artists and, and Judith had recommended to me uh, an artist in San Diego because she said that they've they've tried to get, uh, find black artists locally and haven't been able to um, so she had recommended a person that um, that's on there you know on one of our lists of people to, to pursue okay um, um yeah. yeah i'll i'll also poke around and see what i can find yeah yeah and we were and i was um one thing that came to my attention is that um i don't know what you call it but that area right uh, right right by the tool and scott where you know we've got the sign that says historic west side um something mm -hmm. that area I don't know if you know, it's kind of an open space, uh, it's sort of in front of where Tool Avenue was. Um, anyways, they were saying that that area falls under Missoula Redevelopment Agency uh, mm -hmm. purview and could potentially help with funding for some sort of like a framework maybe, uh, some sort of architecture that could help hold something. But we're still looking into that. Um, yeah, and I don't know, and if anyone else can remember who, um, I believe that's URD2, Urban Renewal District 2, and I don't know um, if Chris Bean is in charge, you know, each one of the redevelopment staff, they have kind of, they've taken, 
in the leadership role in each of the URD areas. Um, and I frankly don't know who is in charge of that, but um, obviously a Missoula Redevelopment Agency has been very supportive of the arts since its inception. So um, I, it might be worth a conversation, finding out who, which staff member is in charge of that specific area and then talking to them. Any, does anyone else have input on the project or suggestions, thoughts for Greg? No? Um, okay, well, we will have Danny be your liaison. And, and Greg, of course, I'm always available um, for as long as I'm around. <laughs> so, um, you know, if you need anything too, um, I'm always willing to help. Perfect. Thanks for having me. So you bet. Thanks for coming. Do we have any other public comment? I don't. I don't see anyone. I don't think I'm missing anyone. I don't think Dwight Shoot has anything to say. Um, so let's go ahead to approval of the minutes. And has everyone had a chance to read review the minutes? And are there any corrections? I'm seeing heads shake both ways. <laughs> I'm hoping people, <laughs> hoping people had a chance to review. Um, can we entertain a motion for approval? I'll motion that we approve last month's minutes. Thank you, Joe. Second. Greg seconds it. Um, any more discussion? All in favor? And opposed. Yay. Cool. Um, next, we have the traffic signal box project. Um, we, it appears there will be five or six signal boxes um, in this go round. Um, three of them will be redos. Five, Five will be all along Reserve Street. Um, we've been working with the Grant Creek Neighborhood Association um, and have written a grant for $6,000 to um, pay for essentially five of them. And then one of the things they've done is they actually last year, because of COVID, didn't spend all of their monies for um, neighborhood projects. So what they would like to do is target those monies toward signal boxes. And at least, um, and in this case, the replacement of two of the vinyl boxes, um, one being um, the one in front of um, Clearwater Credit Union, and then the other one at the I-90 interchange. So we do not, they have not heard yet if they can do that. Um, if they cannot, um, then they will will just do, they'll just want to do four signal boxes this year, three of which will be redos. Um, the one in front of um, the uh, Western equipment. It's, it's um, in between the freeway and Costco. The one by Costco and also um, a new one on the interchange as you head west um, onto the freeway from Grant Creek. So, um, and then the other one I um, have that we are looking at doing is on Russell and Broadway. And that is one that I um, either uh, well, actually there's private money coming in, but I don't have the official word yet. I have an unofficial word, so um, we would have a new one in that location as well. Um, you know, one of the things that the $6,000 was from the neighborhood grant project. One of the, and it's not a difficult, not insurmountable, um, and the Grand Creek neighborhood still wanted to try it is they will, the grants, and Heidi, help me on this one. The awards will not be finalized until the end of May, which means that 
the actual art call for those boxes could not go out until the 1st of June. Um, we worked out a time frame which could still, um, it would give artists a month to five weeks to actually do a design um, with the selection um, and interviews, et cetera, if necessary. It could still, the project could still be completed by the end of August, um, but it would may impact some of the participation of like, because in the past when we've had the finalists, neighborhoods have had gatherings to look at the boxes and um, comment, et cetera, et cetera. Um, it does cut that time frame short a little bit, um, but otherwise it should still be able to be a go. So um, one more thing, um, and it's, if you remember last year, um, we received monies to do the electrical box in Playfair Park. Um, with COVID and everything that was delayed, but it's back on schedule. So images of all those boxes, and, and again, um, Greg and James, this is new to you. Everybody else is probably tired of me saying this, but images of the boxes that were removed are gonna be placed on that huge electrical box that um, is on the east side of Playfair Park. So kind of as a memorial to those boxes so people don't forget that we've had them. Mm, that's great. Kathy, that's, that's uh -huh. super cool. I, I did not know that. Um, are we also looking at a process for the, the new boxes that you were just discussing? Is that something that we will also review yeah, we've, uh, you know, um, we've essentially gone through the same process since its inception where the um, artists either, you know, and we did um, talk about whether or not they needed to be actually make models or have flat imagery, but something and either or I think is going to be fine. Um, but we do want to see what they can do and that they can execute it. Um, in the past, there's been issues uh, where they have not been able to execute the artwork as proposed. Um, so part of that is just making sure because of the time frame that they do what they say they're going to do. And then we have a pretty um, standard selection process that similar to what we've gone through before, where we have um, the representatives of the neighborhoods, the funders, highway department, city hall, um, public works, um, public art committee, look at all the designs, um, select which ones um, would be the finalists. Um, we've refined the interview process, so it shouldn't take that long. Typically it takes about 15 to 20 minutes. We talk to the artists and again, primarily to make sure that A, they're going to be here and can execute and then um, award the TSBs, um, $1,500 again. And then they'll have the week before, uh, the last week of August to execute. So. Um, okay, thank you. You're welcome. So are you expecting some applicants between now and the end of July or what, well, what do you when think? the art call goes out, that's where if, you know, it has been our um, process in the past that we don't let out any art calls until we're sure we have the money. So until we know that that $6,000 is there for those grant correct boxes, that is part of the process as to normally the art call would be going out in, well, it would have gone out in May, but we, since we don't know if we're gonna have the money, didn't let the art call out yet. Yeah, and we're re reviewing neighborhood grants tomorrow. Are you? Yeah. Can you tell us how many there are? <laughs> um, so, uh, Can I oh, I'm sorry. Sure. Um, did we ever fix the one on Madison and Broadway? Um, we did not, and the highway department is not ready to replace it yet. That is, it, once it's on the agenda, I've been trying to um, actually have them turn it into insurance. 
but they it doesn't look like they're going to be able to be doing that. Um, yeah. But I do think that's one of the ones that we can raise money for, get money for to replace. Okay. Because it's a beautiful box. Um, we don't actually have any say on when and how they get replaced, unfortunately. Um, but Steve Felix, who's the operations manager, does know that it's a priority with us to make sure that, that because we've only had that image there for a year. It was, I don't even think it was that. Um, I did work with the people at the Sinclair station to see if they had any video of anything happening, but nothing. So a hit and run and an odd hit and run. I mean, they thought it might be a drunk driver, but who knows? So. Cool. So um, now the dash sculpture, Dennis has good news. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, oh. Do you want to tell us about your conversations with Michael? Can you hear Dennis? I have my audio on. Oh. Can you hear? We can hear you, Dennis. Oh, now you're muted, but we could now hear you're muted. you. Can you unmute yourself? How about now? There. Now you're good. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, yeah. So I've been communicating with uh, Mike Letzik that uh, is going to come up and, and do this sculpture, this dash sculpture, and uh, be a real good organization. Talked about that uh, would be would be good, I think, for Missoula. Do I hear somebody else talking? You shouldn't. I think it's just background noise in Kathy. So Kathy, if you could mute when you're not talking, I think it'll help. Anyway, um, so uh, he was, he wanted to know specific, uh, the uh, trees, you know, the species of the trees and stuff like that here in Missoula. And so I uh, sent him a list of uh, most of the foliage here in Missoula, maple, birch, um, uh, just all the different types, the evergreens uh, and all the different types of foliage that people have, you know, some people have planted uh, all mountain ash and lilacs, you know, just different, different foliage. And so anyway, so he wanted that as, as to include into his sculpture. Um, it'd be an outdoor sculpture is what he was talking about. And um, so we're talking about location. And uh, so, and, and, you know, we we're just talking about, you know, like, you know, parks or, something like that, you know, maybe a park that could have it or a, or a building that would have it outside. And uh, the more we talked and then that uh, theme that I told him about was, you know, Missoula has the river running through it, through the downtown section, which other towns don't have. And uh, <clears throat> so we're kind of talking about that and um, and so then we, uh, he kind of focused in on the, uh, the Riverside parks. And so I was gonna say, I haven't done it yet, but I was gonna send him some images of some of the Riverside uh, trails and parks and stuff that flow through Missoula. And, uh, and uh, then when he comes up, then he'd have some kind of an idea of, of where to uh, look for a, a place for the sculpture. So, but the Riverside, I don't know if, if other people would agree with it or not, but uh, that seemed to be kind of uh, what he wanted to do. Good 
Dennis, did he give you any indication of when he was thinking about coming now? I know he had some delays in his previous work timeframes. Yeah. Yeah, originally it was uh, March, then April, and then here it is May. But he, uh, the last I heard it was the end of May, which is coming up here pretty soon. So I'll uh, I'll keep bugging him and, and see uh, if he could get more specific. He had some uh, setbacks with a sculpture that he was... Uh, installing, I guess. Uh, I guess it was in Denver. And uh, so I'll keep bugging him. And then I, I got to send him these images of uh, some of the Riverside uh, parks and that type of thing. And, uh, and then hopefully hear back and, you know, set up some kind of uh, a time frame for him to come up. Um, and one of the things we'll want to make sure that we do is coordinate with Parks and Rec on all of this, um, because we can't just place art in the parks. Um, and for those of you who've been through that process before, it's, I mean, we, it's the whole health, safety, welfare, and aesthetic process. So um, not that it's difficult, but we just wanna make sure that we have all our I's and T's crossed um, in collaboration with them as well. Okay, so should I get a hold of them, Parks and Recs? Well, I, I, you know, as you were talking and everybody else um, jump in on this, it, it's like, um, I think we do want to talk to them and just give them an idea that that's one of his chosen locations because they're, um, Donna Gopler, they, they may have some ideas of specifically where they don't want it to go. Um, and then um, just let them know that once he visits um, and we can welcome them, one of, you know, representative from Parks and Rec as well to go on the tour with us and him. Um, because they know their parks better than anyone. And so I think yeah. that might be a good idea and then we help have them help us refine the location if he truly does want to be in the parks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So so what's the process? He comes and visits and then he comes back at a later time to install the sculpture? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he'll uh, he'll come and visit and then uh, then he'll make the sculpture and then come back and install it. Uh, Dennis, do you know, and, and it's my, also my understanding that it's, if he is going to be placing it somewhere, some of that funding is going to be going for site preparation. Um, am I understanding that correctly? As far as the funding? Yeah. The funding that um, I mean, he's the money that he is getting from Dash essentially covers the entire project, from citing it to um, any. I mean, for example, if there's going to be any ground or dirt work displaced or something happening, um, you know, to that ground, we're going to have to we, we would have to replace that and make it as it once was. So. We'll need to make sure that his monies covers that type of restoration work. Yeah, definitely. if he's if he's going to go in the parks, so and the trip just, up mm -hmm. and all of that too. Mm -hmm. Cool. Any questions for Dennis on the dash sculpture? No. Cool. Um, pack live. Um, uh, Stoney um, couldn't make it up. You all saw her email. Did anyone talk to her about Pack Life Progress? Does anybody know anything about it? I, I know she was working with the uh, music group for collaboration, but I do not know um, what's going on. Lisa, um, our first night's back on. Um, I don't think we've had one here, so. Not really. I mean, there's a couple people. I feel like the Zach regularly has one. Mm -hmm. um, we have still been, Radius has been closing at six o'clock. We mm -hmm. believe in June, we're going to stay open until seven. 
mm-hmm. and try to promote it again to see maybe if it'll come back a little. We have been reluctant because we were in the three short months that we were open. Um, you know, we had like a thousand people in here on first Friday. So we're kind of a crowd magnet. Mm-hmm. So, which is why we're cutting out the seven to eight hour too, because it was kind of the worst of that those hours. Yeah, um, we. That's when we got it here too. So maybe, um, maybe I'll write a note to the other arts orgs and see what other people are doing. Every, I mean, nobody organizes it, so um, it's just everybody for themselves. But it would be nice to have a little, um, if not coordination, communication mm-hmm. between them. If yeah, I find I'll, them, I'll let you know. Yeah, I'll ask Mary here too. I know we were going to do a fundraiser, um, fundraising show for one of our colleagues. Mm-hmm. Um, and I believe we were looking at first Friday. Yeah. I, well, the decision will be made this Friday, but I believe we're looking at um, July. But I'm not 100% sure on that. So I, I just, you have your ears to the ground better than I do on all of that. So. Well, Tom's on the call. He might hear, have heard. Tom, have you heard of anything? Are you really there? Yes, you are. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty much what you said, Lisa. There's, there's The Zach's been open for a while. I know the Clay Studio, uh, they've been open, but they haven't really been encouraging tons of crowds. Mm-hmm. Uh, so um, that's that's the answer. Some are, some are sort of slowly coming, are are. coming out with it, and some are not. Mm-hmm. Joe, what's but the main thing? I think it's, I think, I think your suggestion to, um, and we can look into this too, connect with some galleries and just say, fill us in. So, because we've been getting, we've been getting calls and, uh, we, we kind of want to know what to tell the public. Yeah. And it, and it would be nice if we sent something out, um, so people know, because we get a ton of questions. Like, are you, I mean, I, the Thursday before I get probably 10 phone calls about whether First Friday is on or off. Lisa, I haven't been there since last July. What? Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> I work at a casino. Oh, excellent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Um, well, we'll let Stony update us. I think I, you know, um, it, it's such a, it's a great event, and it was a great idea of performance art. So hopefully, we'll be able to continue it. Um, so next on our agenda is the mountain lion mural. Um, some news, some very sad news. Um, Stella was riding her mountain bike and hurt her arm. So the project has been delayed. You got muted, Kathy. You must have hit your space bar. I think yeah, I must have. So I don't know if y'all heard that. We're on to the mountain lion mural. Um, Stella had a biking accident and hurt her arm badly. So the mural execution has been delayed. Um, hopefully June or July will be done. Um, Shanti, <clears throat> pardon me, Shanti Johnson at Mountain Lion. Everybody is copacetic with this. Obviously there's nothing she could do. Um, it's just unfortunate. Um, one of the things they emailed today about, Shanti emailed both Hazel and I about is um, a scissor lift or anything like that because Stella cannot climb ladders. And those columns are 12, 14 feet tall, maybe 16. Um, so I said I have some connections that I was going to start I did actually make a couple phone calls, left some voicemails, did not hear of anyone or anything back. Um, does anyone else know? Oh, sorry. We have two ladders. No, no, she can't be on a ladder. Oh, okay. So we're, we're looking for scissor lifts or um, if, oh, Greg. The um, theater department at the university has at least one um mm-hmm. that could that could be a, a potential since it's during the summer right mm-hmm. and there's not really any large productions going on that could be something that i could reach out for 
Could you? Oh, that'd be great. Um, yep. Yeah, uh, you know, my, and I, not that they're negative concerns. One of the things we just want to make sure she knows how to operate it <laughs> um, and that her insurance covers her on it. Um, and I, apparently she thinks she'll just need it for about a week. So if it's a matter of getting it from the university to the um, Mountain Lion Transfer Center, which is down by City Hall, um, I think we can find someone to transport it if need be. So can you check on that maybe and let me know? Yeah, and can you also include either in the chat or just in, in an email her name uh -huh. um, and info just uh, so we can see if there's some common denominators in the field here uh, that, mm -hmm. that, that would be helpful right uh, right absolutely Paisley yeah. could you could you send the information on the piece to Greg so he has um, all her information what the piece is some imagery of the piece and Stella is a recent UM grad so that would good PR there Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. That's awesome. Cool. Okay. Great. Yeah. Oh, that's Great. lovely. Thank I you. Will thank send you, Greg. Her and Bob. Thanks, Paisley. Um, yeah, and I, like I said, I've reached out to a couple of contractors. Um, so, in in a week isn't that long of a time. So maybe we can make it happen. Um, cool. We'll keep everybody updated on that. So um, our annual meeting, um, I did talk to Peter. He is willing to work with us. So um, I know we talked about it being our, during our public art meeting in June um, and we thought three hours. So we're still good with that date, which would be, sorry. June 15th, is that still good for everyone? From four to 7 p.m.? Good, okay. Um, we, can, we can talk about if we wanna bring treats and munchies like we have in the past, um, but Peter was actually honored that we had asked him. So I think um, that will be a good, a, a good event. Did you um, say the, the location? I'm sorry. Um, I no, I didn't yet. Um, we, um, you know, we had talked about, and I can ask again, I, I, um, honestly, I did not try and devise the location this during this, these past couple of weeks. Um, we could try and do, um, children's theater again. We could do Stockman's bank again. Um, we actually could use our downtown office or the Berkshire office on South Avenue. We have a great meeting room with great technology. Um, but um, I think our, when we talked last time, we thought maybe Stockman's or um, Missoula Children's Theater. Peter also has an in with First Interstate Bank. So um, we might be able to get that. So I'll try and narrow that down in the next week for everybody. So, Joe, were you waving your hand? No? Okay, sorry. <laughs> Kathy, be quiet. Um, next, rattlesnake sound wall. Um, a quick update on that. Um, Beth Judy is coordinating that neighborhood effort. And so to that end, she, um, you know, we talked about that, where on the sound wall, how much of the sound wall, da, 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 da. And then it got into, well, you know, you really need to get the neighborhoods involved more and also make sure that many people are okay with this because public art can be a destination. And one of the reasons they put up that sound wall was to have some privacy, particularly from the noise, but also, you know, there's heavy impact from football games at concerts, et cetera, et cetera, in the lower rattlesnake. And that is frustrating for some people so to that end, um, Beth coordinated um, four public meetings. Um, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, there were two last week, Tuesday and Thursday, and there will be two next week, Tuesday and Thursday. 
Um, she used herself and me as contact information. Um, and I will tell you right now, it's split 50-50 from those we've heard of <laughs> about whether or not there should be art on that wall. Um, we've had a few people who were adamantly against it. They did not want increased traffic. They did not want increased visitation. They did not want art. Um, yeah, down with art. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, and um, yeah. I, you know, I was actually really glad that she, they coordinated this effort. So, um, it, it, because it was interesting to hear. Um, and yet on the flip side of that, we had people that absolutely wanted something on the wall. Um, there was a gentleman um, from, on Vine Street who loved the idea. Um, he, in fact, was one of the people, I don't know if you remember when Willie, Lillian was painting the um, wall at the traffic circle, they interviewed her and she talked about an elderly gentleman who always stopped by to see her. Well, this was the elderly gentleman, George Goebel, and he was lovely and, um, in fact, sent some photos of that he had taken of her to me so I can pass them on to Paisley and they can be put in our um, Google box but um you know so right now it's 50 50. if any of you would like to go um next tuesday at 5 30 um at gregory park and third oh i'm sorry next tuesday at 7 30 at gregory park next thursday at 5 30 i hope i don't mix those up uh, um i'll pass it on to paisley and she can email it to everyone um just neighborhood meetings again. We've actually, there's only been one where people actually showed up. The first meeting, no one showed up, but we did get the emails. So um, it's a huge project. We also met with Steve Felix. Um, they've become more supportive to the idea um, in that he even thought that possibly something could be um, adhered to the wall. We've talked about a wide variety of things. So, and at this point, again, um, very, very early stages, but they seem to be very dedicated to having something there. Even if it's on maybe the West End or maybe just in the center as you go under the freeway. So um, it'll be a, it'll be a long-term project. And hopefully maybe we won't be as, I won't be as verbose the next up update. <laughs> So um, anyone else want to help with that project? Let's not all speak at once. <laughs> um, it, I think it could be very cool. So if anybody's interested, um, please, please, please come or reach out. Um, next on the agenda, public art guide. Um, it actually was finished yesterday or the day before, went to press. Um, they left a hard copy for me at the Missoulian. So I picked that up today and I asked Paisley to email all of it. Um, Greg, I have to apologize because we didn't get the children's art aspect in. I still think there's an opportunity to do some inserts, um, but the Missoulian, we had to work on their schedule and between that and your finals week and the push to get yeah. it out. We didn't get that one incorporated this year. That's fine. Kathy, that was, that was definitely like a short window. And we all know that we can only do so much in those little bits of time. But I think that it'd be a great opportunity for us to look at this next, um, this year forward to having mm -hmm. something that has been more thought through probably mm -hmm. and organized so that this time next year, we've got something that's really awesome. I absolutely agree. Um, yeah. And that's on your shoulders. <laughs> no, yeah. I'd be, I'd be no, happy no to problem. work with you on that. But I think if you, there, you know, these are, broad, you, uh, these are broad shoulders. I don't know if you can tell, but um, yeah, I, I can take a look. Muy grande <laughs> shoulders. Um, no, I think it's a medium, great idea. Muy medium. <laughs> Um, yeah, I know, think that I think that if we were to put the energy in as we go forward for something that we were, you know, able to really kind of dedicate some some good thinking and creative energy towards, that would be a really awesome thing 
mm -hmm. uh, to celebrate this time next year. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. it would have been awesome if we could do that now, but it just, it, it was a pipe dream. Well, it, you know what? Those dreams can become realities. So um, I think, you know, it looks good. Same format, um, 15th year. Um, amazing that it has been going on for 15 years. Um, and they keep doing it because they don't lose money. And it's a great marketing piece for us. So. Hey, Kathy. Uh, yes. Do, we, do they need help uh, distributing any of that? You know, they do distribute that, but um, as um, what I usually do, and I, I would ask anyone if you wanted to do this to pick, we can get a buy, everybody could take a box. I actually, whenever I go out to eat or wherever I go, um, if they have grocery racks, I put them in just to get them out more. Um, there's 5,000 of them being printed. Um, they are gonna do minimal inserts in the Missoulian, not the Ravalli Republic this time, last year they did that. Um, but what happened is the year before we had some left over, this year we were really tight on them. So um, that's why they're doing limited inserts. And so truly if people would want a box um, to help distribute, that's, that's always okay. So. Where would we pick those up at? Um, Missoulian. And they're not ready yet. Obviously they, you know, they want, they typically try to get them out by Memorial Day, but as soon as they're um, finished, um, you'll love this. Um, Courtney's mom is the new coordinator. So Tony LeBlanc, um, she'll let me know and then I will let everyone else know. And if you're interested in all in having a box, I'll just have them set aside one for you at the front desk. So cool. And all the advertisers, of course, get boxes. So, um, great. Um, now to staffing. We are not giving up on that director for the Public Art Committee. And Tom, can you put yourself, um, <laughs> make yourself visible again? Um, the mayor had asked that we sit down with him again. Um, and it, we were going to shoot for this week. I have not heard. Heidi, I don't know if you've heard. <laughs> um, and I'm booked solid. I we for the time. I will grab my calendar. It's, um, yeah, I've, I've got it. I think it's Thursday afternoon at three o'clock um, uh, is a Zoom armor. call with, and you had said, Kathy, you weren't available this week. Um, oh, and I, well, no, I w was just not available Wednesday, Wednesday and Thursday. Okay. So well, I kind of I kind of hate to be talking about a public art director with not being there. Right. Um, I think that's unfortunate. Yeah, and then and and the uh, the request, um, the request for uh, budget proposals to the city is due Friday. So, uh -huh. got to get it. Got to get something in by Friday. Any chance it could be at? Do you think it could be moved to three thirty? I think we have an hour, so. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, I think the I mayor had super limited availability. So, Tom, maybe we can talk beforehand. Or something. Yeah, I mean, it's it's all, it's all based on what the mayor's availability. Yeah. Is. Yeah. Well, really. I, yes. I'm I available, we... but you know. Yeah. Yeah, and the Friday deadline right. obviously is the other kind of uh, right. firm thing for Tom, so. Well, and that's that too is, of course, if the best avenue is it's decided that it, the money be put towards that budget versus our budget versus another department's budget. So I don't know. Have you had conversations about how that will work? Anyone? Oh, Tom, you're frozen or no. No, sorry. What was what was what was your question again? Um, well, it. To my understanding, it hadn't been, the decision hadn't been made that that monies would be put in the, finalized that it would be put in the Arts Missoula budget that it could, Heidi, you had talked about perhaps adding it to the neighborhood budget or another departmental budget. Right. I know that wasn't the preferred. Um, I, think, I think he was, he was, 
and, and Heidi, you know, you know more than I do, you work with them more, but the message I got was a, a, a nice, but rather firm, don't go there. Huh. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah, I would agree. And the way our budget process works, you know, it's it's the we have a strong mayor government, so we'll get his proposal. And that's not to mm -hmm. say that council couldn't change it, but it sounded to me like his, um, his preferred course of action at the time being is to have it be mm -hmm. added to what already which is fine. Is yeah. lot. So, um. and I think part of it is also just that all the departments have been reorganized and are in the process of uh -huh. you know, restructuring. And so I f think he just didn't feel like adding it to the Office of Neighborhoods was appropriate at this moment. Mm -hmm. Okay, Heidi, no, and that's fine. Heidi, I, I didn't hear the, there was some crosstalk, so I didn't hear the end of your sentence. You said that it be added to, and then- oh. Yeah, so I had suggested it maybe be added to the Office of Neighborhoods because um, uh -huh. I could see it being a really good fit in that space. Um, but I think the mayor didn't feel like it was an appropriate time uh, to do that. And, and so it would be added to what? Oh, Arts Missoula. So it would be fun funded through Arts Missoula, the same similar process to the way we're funding the administrative position right now. Okay. So I, I would... I put together a, a budget request. I'm, I'm going to tweak it between now and Friday, a lot depending on my conversation with the mayor. But um, basically, with our budget request would include a, a, an increased amount to cover the cost of a public art director. Do you need and, and a meeting with you, Tom? What's that? I had offered to write a letter, sort of um, doing some making an argument for the justification. Do you need that or would you like That would me? be great. That, that would be lovely. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be wonderful. Um, letter or my presence, <laughs> which one? Well, you can certainly, I can, I can, uh, I can forward the uh, Zoom link to this committee and okay. just- I mean, it would be less work if I could just do it verbally, but- um. But you know, when it comes, what, what will happen is if the mayor, agrees to this or you know gives a green light or says yeah sure go ahead um it it'll it'll boil down to um making a pitch um to the city council when they're reviewing the budget that's 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 probably that's going to be the more crucial time for, uh -huh. for something like that yeah and i i would say yeah. I think the, ma the mayor was um at least i got the the general feeling that he was supportive of this ask and so i think it would be I think, you know, if there's pushback or convincing to be had, it's probably further on down in this summer mm -hmm. during the budget process. Right. Because so. what usually yeah. happens is is the mayor the mayor sub, submits a budget um, and 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 it's based on it's based on last year's budget. And and usually that's not the problem. It's an, an increase over last year. Increase. That's that's where the debate is. And at that, you know, point, um, as Heidi and Tom have been saying, I think it would behoove all of the public art committee members to put something in writing to support the staff position. Um, and I, again, what we're looking at is starting out with a part-time position. Um, yeah, that's what so, I was thinking. Yeah. So, um, well, I will um, be in, well, I can't join until 3.30. I think my class ends at 3.30, so um, I will be late to the meeting. <laughs> I'll, so, I'll send, perfect. I'll send you, well, let's, I'll send you the Zoom link. Um, thanks. And if anybody yeah. else wants a Zoom link, I'll, I can send, send them. Mm -hmm. Although I think right now it might, I mean, as long as we're just talking about the committee, it might maybe, I mean, not that it's any big deal, maybe less is more. And then when we really need the support, have everybody stand up and shake, rattle and roll. Yeah. Um, it's but exciting. I mean, it, it's just the initial support and the thought of moving forward 
is very exciting, very exciting. So, cool beans. Um, we are on to announcements. Um, any announcements for this meeting, the end of this meeting? News, upcoming events. Did anybody see any great public art out there? <laughs> I got to see Schoolhouse Rock at MCT, and it was so good. Oh, and how was Miss Paisley? <laughs> the star of the show? Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's shy. Mm -hmm. Did anybody participate in the film festival events? I didn't get to the outdoor live ones. I watched other movies, some of the other movies, which of course were amazing. But we had we had um, planned to take the entire family to the new library on Sunday. They were closed on Sundays. Oh. Didn't know that. Ah. <laughs> we were so excited. It's all the it's all the kids could talk about. What a bummer. But <laughs> anyways. That's not really, I mean, there is some public art inclusion there, but more, it was like, how excited are we able to be, to get into these spaces again? Mm -hmm. That brings up a question. What do you think, Kathy, like what's our trajectory for actually being able to do this in person here? Yeah. Is as good as mine. Based on what Marty said, um, it might be a few months yet. Um, I wonder if we proved that we've all had shots and we could sit socially distance under the Karis Park tent. <laughs> um, I think it, it is, Heidi, it, I mean- I, the I was gonna say, I think the hardest no part yet. is the IT part of it, the, the public, you know, the, mm -hmm. that's what yeah. makes it hard. Mm -hmm. so. I was um, just random and if you haven't seen the radius gallery and the ceramic exhibits yet you should go by because they're amazing great. and I took my kids to go see all the I don't know what the name of it is but the, all the bubbles and the bunnies hanging from the skylight it's amazing so yeah, that's Alicia cool. Hartiz's new permanent installation mm -hmm. yeah the other um permanent installation I think I might have mentioned this um but you might have crossed it um, is the new AC motel. The bar in the first floor has some really amazing art in it that we were able to put in. And it, you know, even though it's just a, a hotel and bar, it's a, it's a gathering place and it's um, just gorgeous art that um, we were able to get in there. And um, I just love that, pub, that some of these places that are open like this will actually do a budget for that includes art so I, I have one more thing uh we i had a chance to see the metal lark um before it started serving people so um and the artwork that's in that space is just amazing um mm -hmm. and i think some of it is permanent and some of it might be on loan um through the art museum maybe and it's it's really impressive so mm -hmm. Yay. Yeah. Lise, the AC looks beautiful. And the work is beautiful. Um, and as, don't forget, um, um, Ale, the alley, public art alley. Ale. Um, Ale. What did I say? Ali? No. <laughs> yeah, there's nine years of French. <laughs> Ale. <laughs> anyway, you guys, it, it's great. So. And they have another call for art out. Mm -hmm. I saw that. Yeah. Cool. So unless anybody has anything else, we can adjourn the meeting. And Yay. Cool. Early. Thank thanks you. again. Thanks, Dennis. Thanks for working with Michael. Thanks, everybody. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Did, I just I wanted to say thank you to everybody who sent in information on the third Myrtle project. So input, so I appreciate that.
Sorry, I missed that. that went to one of my fake folders in my email. So I need to figure out how to get things to the right email folder. We'll help you. Thanks. Oh, yeah. You're not alone, Joe. It's just a constant struggle. It is. <laughs> Thanks, all.